your part in the class of 2020. Allow me to use myself as an example to explain what I mean. My name is Brooke Butler. I typically performed well in my classes. I studied hard. I had several mental breakdowns over the realization that I would be the one doing all of the work in a group project. I attended football games, musicals. I played a sport for a couple years. And like the majority of us, my plans after high school consist of going to a university for a four to six year period. You may find that most of you fit into these aspects I have mentioned, especially the after high school plans. But this isn't everyone. Some of us plan on attending community college. Some of us are jumping right into the workforce. Some of us are eagerly joining the armed forces. And then there are others who might not be doing any of the above. We all have different paths and destinies. And whether or not we have the same objectives or goals, all of us are experiencing the same inconveniences and fears with our lives right now. This is the class of 2020. Although this does, how do I put this in the most sophisticated way? Suck. <laughs> this is shaping us to who we are. A lot of things have been put in perspective for us, and it has taught us valuable lessons that I believe can be summed up with three inspirational and cliche quotes. If you could all please look dramatically in the distance to the left with me as I read the first inspirational quote, live in the moment. If we were being honest, we all probably thought we were always living in the moment, that we were basking in the glory of the present and absorbing every second we encountered. However, when the world was shutting down and everything as we knew it was becoming something out of a dystopian novel, all of a sudden you realized how often you weren't cherishing today. Especially throughout senior year, my mind was always looking ahead, which caused me to lose sight of the privilege of being able to exist in the now. Rather than taking advantage of trying to find something of value in a class I found insignificant and unimportant, I was daydreaming about my last day of school and how soon I would never have to sit in this classroom again. Instead of appreciating my coach's efforts to strengthen my stamina with unbearable running drills for field hockey games, I was imagining what senior night would look like. All of these simple moments like interacting with my favorite teachers who felt more like mentors to me, saying hi to a friend in the hallway I don't have a class with, or listening to Mr. LeMay's voice as he told us we have broken yet another record during a fire drill went underappreciated. I would. I'm sure we all would do anything to be able to go back to the seemingly mundane and monotonous life we were living just to be able to start over and truly appreciate it. Unfortunately, we can't go back in time. The present leads us to our future. The only thing we can do now is learn from the past and apply it to now to avoid missing out on what is already lost. Moving on, if you could all please look dramatically in the distance to the right with me as I read the second inspirational quote, everything happens for a reason. Every day there are events in our lives that take place, no matter how monumental or minuscule, that contribute to who we are. There is no doubt in my mind that this has impacted everyone in more ways than one. There is also no doubt in my mind that this has opened our eyes to something we each needed to see. Maybe it has allowed some of us to become closer to our loved ones and give us the opportunity to reevaluate the importance of family. Maybe it gave us the chance to take a step back from our fast-paced lives and slow down to see what we were speeding past. Maybe you were like me where this helped you recognize who and what is actually important in your life. I noticed that the people who wanted to make the effort to reach out to me just to check in found a way to make that happen. I found myself learning that the only person who I needed to fit in with is myself and that the only opinion on me that matters is mine. But most importantly, I realized how strong of a person I am and how strong of a class we are. Our resilience and our ability to get back up when we are constantly being shoved, kicked, punched, hit, Snack slammed, I think you get the point, <laughs> on the ground has caused us to come together and be there for each other. It has allowed us to grow with one another and really see in full disclosure how this was impacting all of us in different ways. We have learned different lessons about encountering and overcoming hardships, working on relationships with our friends and family, and appreciating life for the gift that it is. I am not the same person I was on March 12th. You are not the same person you were on March 12th. If it weren't for this series of events that took place, we might have never again gotten the chance to carry with us the knowledge and wisdom we have now. Finally, if you could all one more time stare dramatically in any direction you want in the distance as I read the final inspirational quote, tough times don't last, but tough people do. This pandemic is unlike anything we have seen before in our lifetime. We are part of history, part of something that will be written in books. And by the time our generation has a family, we will be the subject of our kids' history projects. Times are not easy. We are constantly playing the same day on loop and wondering what bomb is going to be dropped on us next. What other part of our future is going to be threatened by this? Every day though, is a choice on how we handle and go about life. You can either choose to give up, to tune out any of the good that is in your life, to only focus on the negativity and allow that to weigh you down and drown you. 
or you can choose to keep moving forward. Obviously, we are not going to be waking up every day with a positive attitude. We will have moments where we take some steps back and feel defeated and broken. It's not selfish for you to feel how you feel. You are allowed to be upset, angry, and sad. In order to be able to go through life, you have to be able to feel all kinds of emotions and learn how to cope with them properly. When you let only the bad consume you, that's when it becomes an issue. We are here because we have chosen not to let this define us. When this passes, what will remain is not the damage, but the tough people who said, is that all you got? Class of 2020, we are without a doubt the most resilient, the most indestructible, all around the best class that Clarkson High School has ever seen. We are unbreakable. We are constantly showing that we are not a force to be reckoned with and that we are ultimately the superior class. Our futures are not going anywhere. Our futures are still there and hope remains for each and every one of us to achieve our dreams. Whether or not your path involves you going to a higher level of schooling, to the workforce, to the armed forces, etc., it will lead us to where we are meant to go. Our success will be defined by the opportunities and obstacles in our lives and what we make of it. Our success will be defined by the values that we carry with us now from this pandemic. So I ask again, what is your part in the class of 2020? From here on out, it's to take pride that we were the class that was part of this catastrophic time that shaped us into the most well-rounded, well-prepared graduating class for the future. Congratulations, you finally did it.